Welcome aboard. It's Captain G and Eggman to Operation Ultra, KMT and the USA. We'll start with the KMT for purchases. They start with a balance of 12 IPP. We're buying two artillery for eight and one infantry for three, leaving us one remaining. And then for the US on their turn, we start with 20 IPP, and we are sending as military aid a light tank to the KMT for six. We're also building an industrial complex, a um, minor industrial complex for 12, that's 18. That leaves us with two IPP remaining. Okay, so let's go into our turn. For the KMT, we're going into one combat move. From Shanxi to Shanxi, we are liberating the Chinese people under Japanese dominion. No combat. It's a walk-in. That completes our combat moves for the KMT. Now we're going to do non-combat. Starting down in Yunnan, we're sending one infantry unit north to Quichao. Also from Yunnan, we're sending one infantry chip into Sheshuan. And then from Sheshuan, we are sending one infantry and one artillery into, what is this? Kong Chong Hapen. Okay. And then the last non combat, we're sending two cavalry into Sheshuan. All right. Uh, place units. So let me bring back their build plate. We're starting an infantry here in Qingchong and we're Chongqing Hupei. Sorry. And then the two artillery we have to build in Sheshuan because those supplies come via the Burma Road. So they have to start here. <clears throat> End of turn then. Um, we have the one that we saved. The income tracker for KMT was at nine due to the un, um, I guess, uh, this open aggression by, by Japan, unprovoked attacks. They took away three of our 12, so that left us with nine. We got one back that gives us 10 IPP. Plus, we have a 5 IPP bonus as long as the Burma Road is open. So that means that cash on hand will be five, 10, 15, 16 IPP for the KMT next turn. All right, let's go to the U.S. now. The U.S. has no combat movements for non-combat. We're going to start in the Pacific. This torpedo boat and the U.S. destroyer using the movement bonus of the Pearl Harbor Naval Base will transit one, two, three, and end here off the coast of the Philippine Islands. The medium bomber in the Philippines will fly one, two, three, four, and land five in. Hawaii. The transport in season 133 off the coast of California will embark the AA gun and one infantry in San Francisco and it'll go one two to Hawaii and drop the infantry and the AA gun off on the island and then the balance of the U.S. fleet the Lexington the Arizona, the escort cruiser, and the transport will go back from 120 up to 133. Okay, so that's it in the Pacific for non-combat moves this turn. We're going to shift you over to the Atlantic Theater. So on the East Coast, we are going to utilize the U.S rail network to send the marine 
the infantry and the sorry the artillery and the sam the aa gun sorry that's not sam that's a different game aa gun and we're going to rail them four one two three four they're going to end up back in san francisco but stay where you are there Because in addition to those moving from east to west, we're also moving the Great Plains Infantry over one. So he'll end up in the Pacific Northwest. And this infantry is moving down the DC. This AA gun is moving down to DC. And the Fighter, the Army Air Corps fighter, and the Army Air Corps tactical bomber will fly one, two, three, four, and they'll both end up, if you come over to the Pacific now with me, in San Francisco. So the ground forces railed to San Francisco, a Marine, an infantry, an AA gun, and an artillery, and the U.S. Army Air Corps the fighter and the tactical bomber both flew cross country to San Francisco as well. And I believe that completes all of our non-combat movement. Transport. You want any more? Oh, okay. So one last thing is this transport in 29 will move one, two, three to sea zone 50 on the other side of the canal. We'll send a submarine with it. Okay. All right, so now we go to place units for the U.S. Let me just put this in the middle. We're going to manufacture the uh, KMT tank and send it up the Burma Road, and we're going to place it here in KMT in China and Sichuan. And the minor industrial complex, which has to be placed in a starting territory of a value of at least two, we're going to place in Manila in the Philippines. Okay, so collect income. The U.S. now has zero income, similar to what we did with the Soviets. Eggman is going to set up and roll. That's in good. 2D12, and this will be our income plus the two that we saved. So that is a 10, a 6. And a four, so that's 10. The U.S. income at the end of this round is 10, plus the two we saved will give us 12 IPP cash on hand on the U.S. next turn. And with that, uh, next up is Triple Crown and Italy for Eggman. I'm Captain G, over and out.